Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. Engineer Max. Train. You're right. That's an amazing train. It's a spectacular train. And I wish we could look at it all day. But I have some important things to pick up in the department store. And we're going to help, right, Max? It's a terrific train, isn't it, Max? Want to take it for a spin? <gasps> All aboard, Max! He thought you'd never ask, Mr. Huffington. A natural engineer, Max. Welcome back. I'm glad you had a nice ride, but it's time to go now. Train. Maybe we can visit the train on the way out. But first, we have to help Grandma with her shopping. That's right. Now, I've got my list. And you know what I need you to get, right, Ruby? Oh, yes. You need a big bow. Right. I'll be on this floor if you need me. Okay, Grandma. Come on, Max. We have to go to the second floor. <gasps> oh, sorry. I just had to stop and look at this beautiful dress. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Huh? You're back! I have something we only give to natural engineers. <gasps> How do you like that? <laughs> there you are! Oh, a nice engineer's hat. Train! Come on, Max. Thanks for the hat, Mr. H. You're welcome. We have to go find a big bow for Grandma. Hi, Mrs. Huffington. Hello, Ruby. Would you like to try our newest perfume from Paris? It's called Eau de la Pain. From Paris? Oh, yes, please. Oh, that smells lovely. What does this perfume smell like? Why don't you try a spritz? Smells even lovelier. What do you think, Max? Huh? <laughs> I guess Max doesn't like perfume. I think he has train on the brain today. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Huffington. Max? Train? Yes, I know you love the train, but Grandma still needs us to find a nice big bow. They sell bows on the second floor. Hmm, now where is the button and bow department? Oh, I see it, this way. 
Oh, Max! <gasps> the button and bow department is right over here. May I help you? We need to find the most beautiful bow you have. We've got all kinds. What color did you have in mind? Oh, I love the pink one. Oh, you can never go wrong with pink. Oh, but it's not for me. Oh, the green one is nice too. Look at that big red bow! It's perfect! Don't you think so, Max? Max? Uh, <laughs> try again, Max. I'll take the red bow, please. And then I have to go after my little brother. Thank you. Bye. Max! Where could Max be? Oh well, I guess I'll have to go back to the train all by myself. <gasps> train? Sure. Now that we've got Grandma's bow, we can wait for her at the train display. <gasps> oh no! Somebody buy the train? Yep, there's a little bunny who's going to be very happy to find out he's getting this train. Train. Well, Max, at least we found a beautiful bow for Grandma. Do you like it? It's perfect, Ruby. And you know what to do with it, don't you? I sure do. Surprise! <laughs> it's for you, Max. <laughs> we wanted to surprise you. And I think we did. And now you can ride home on your very own brand new train. <laughs> Max's Toy Train. Oh, all aboard! No thanks, Max. I don't have time for a train ride right now. And neither do you. Do you know why? We are going for a sleepover at Grandma's. Won't that be fun? <laughs> I'll just get our backpacks and then we can pack all the things we'll need. <gasps> Look at all these toys. I think you need to put them away before we go. Someone might trip on them. All aboard? Hmm. <gasps> I know. Let's have a race. I'll pack our bags while you put away your toys, and we'll see who finishes first, okay? Go! Pink pajamas or mint green pajamas? You can never go wrong with pink. Now I need to pack a book. Hmm. Perfect! Bunny Drew's latest mystery, The Bunny Who Knew Too Much. Now, what else do I need? <gasps> Curly Shirley! I can't go to a sleepover without her. Where are you, Curly Shirley? Hmm, not 
here. Not here either. Where was the last place I saw her? Oh, I know. We were having lunch in the kitchen. I wonder how Max is doing with his cleanup. Oh, little brothers. <laughs> Max, where did you go? I thought you were cleaning up your... <gasps> All aboard! Oh, there you are. You're never going to win the race if you just keep playing with your train. Hello, bonjour. Oh, sorry. Hola, buongiorno, buongiorno. Maybe you could start by picking up your Hello World macaw. <gasps> Curly Shirley. Thanks for finding her, Max. It wouldn't be a sleepover without Curly Shirley. <laughs> Guten Tag! Namaste! Namaste! Buongiorno! Buongiorno! The race is still on. I'm almost finished packing my bag, then I just have to pack yours. You'd better hurry! All aboard! Goodbye! Adios! Au revoir! There. Now I know I'll sleep well with Curly Shirley to keep me company. I'd better pack Max's red rubber elephant. Then he'll have someone to keep him company too. It's not here. downstairs with the rest of the mess. Max, while you're putting your toys away, look for your red rubber elephant so I can pack it, okay? All aboard! Toothbrushes to make sure our teeth are nice and clean before we go to bed. I wonder if he found his red rubber elephant. Kalimera! Kalimera! Aloha! Oh! All aboard! Good work, Max! But you've still got a long way to go before all your toys are put away. And I'm almost done! So I think I know who's going to win the race! but his super bunny pajamas. Oh, and he loves reading his super bunny comic book before bed. There, he's all packed and ready to go. Max, I'm on my way. You've only got a few more seconds or I'll win the race. Oh, Max. You're still playing with your train? <gasps> 
I guess we can call that a tie. <laughs> you cleaned up all the toys with your new train by getting them all aboard. Max's train ride. Oh, sorry, Curly Shirley. It's a good thing I have this curly whirly hairbrush. It's the only thing that works on your curly hair. There. Oh, that's a good start. We're having a tea party with Grandma today. It's been a long time since we had a tea party with all my dollies, and I want it to be really special. Perfect. Train ride? Now you're ready for our tea party. Oh, hi, Max. You're just the bunny I need. Train ride! I know you love your fantastic new train, but before you go on a train ride, could you help me, please? Grandma's coming for an extra special tea party with me and my dollies. I want it to be a tea party like no bunnies ever had before. It would be a big help if you could take my dolls out to the tea party once they're ready. Okay? Please, Max. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, make sure she's at the head of the table. She likes it best there. Now, who's next? Ah, Tooth Fairy. <gasps> what have you been up to? <laughs> Train ride. I don't know how your crown got so dirty. But it'll be all sparkly by the time I'm done with it. There. Now you're ready for our extra special tea party. Oh, perfect timing, Max. I just finished getting Tooth Fairy ready. Doesn't she look beautiful? Tooth Fairy would really appreciate it if you took her to be with Curly Shirley. Wouldn't you? Make sure she's seated right beside Curly Shirley. They're best friends. Thanks, Max. Now, who else needs to get ready? Uh-huh. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let me comb your hair. <laughs> Train ride. So tangled. Have you been using it to let a charming prince climb up your tower? <laughs> Train ride! There. Now you're ready for a tea party. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to take you myself. 
I can't wait to see my dollies looking so pretty around my tea party table. Hmm. Still no sign of Max. Well, let's get you to the tea party. There you are. I thought you'd forgotten about Rapunzel. Okay, why don't you take her out to the tea party table? If you see Grandma, tell her I'll be down in a few minutes. Train ride. Train ride! Ribbit. Train ride? There. Now I'm ready too. Oh, I hope Grandma hasn't come yet. Here I am, ready for our... Well, where's my tea party? And where are my dollies? Max? What did you do with all my dollies and my tea party? Train ride! Uh, okay, I'll go with you if it'll help me find my dollies. Oh, I hope they're all okay. There you are, Ruby. We've been expecting you. You have? Come on in and have a look. My dollies! They're all here. And so is my tea party. With a few extra guests. Ribbit. I said I wanted a tea party like no bunny's ever seen before. And it looks like you got it. But I never thought I'd have a tea party where every bunny got a train ride. <laughs> And Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. Max and Ruby. <laughs> Max and Ruby's train trip. Well, here we are. East. Bunny Hop Train Station. Wow, it's beautiful. I don't think you're the only one who's excited. I know. Max can't believe we're actually going on a train to see Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate. Right? Max, where are you going? Train ride. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting on the train yet. There are lots of trains that come and go through this station. We have to look at the schedule and find out when our train is leaving. And I just happen to have the schedule right here. See? The schedule has a list of all the trains, when they arrive, when they leave, and where they're going. Now we can make sure we're getting on the right train at the right time. We need to find the train to Bunnyvale. That's where Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate live. There it is. Right. This shows us the time the train arrives and the time it leaves. Train to West Bunnyhop arriving at the platform. Train to West Bunnyhop. Huh? Wait! 
This isn't the right train. It's going to West Bunny Hop. We're taking the train to Bunny Vale. All aboard! Don't worry. Our train will be leaving soon. I've got our tickets. Now, where shall we sit till our train comes? I see two empty benches over there, Grandma. Okay. Uh, let's not forget to bring all our bags. Okay, Grandma. over here. Huh? Max, what are you doing? Train ride. Little brothers. We are going on a train ride very soon, but we have to make sure we get on the right train at the right time. <sighs> Remember? The schedule told us what time the train leaves the station. And look, there's the clock. We have to wait until the big hand is at the top of the clock. That's when our train will be here. It'll be almost no time at all. Train ride. Train to Bunny Landing. Train to Bunny Landing and Hair Corners arriving at the platform. Train to Bunny Landing and Hair Corners. Sorry, Max. Look at the clock. See? The big hand isn't at the top yet. That's not the right train. <sighs> Maybe we need a little something to help pass the time. We could play a game, and that way, it won't seem so long till the train comes. Good idea, Ruby. I know. Since you like trains so much, why don't we make our own train? Look, Grandma's suitcase is just like the train's engine. And my suitcase is like the passenger car. All aboard! <laughs> And your suitcase is the caboose. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Hmm. Guess we'd better try something else. Don't you have a toy train in your backpack? Ew! What are your slime dribblers doing in here? you're going? Train ride? Remember, we have to wait till it's time to get on the right train. And in the meantime, we need to repack your ooey gooey backpack. I'll help, Ruby. Thanks, Grandma. Train to Westboro, Bunny Tail Ridge, and Bunny Vale arriving at the platform. Max, where are you going? Train ride! But we have to wait for the right train. Now, according to the schedule, it should be coming right up. The train to Westboro, Bunny Tail Ridge, and Bunny Vale has arrived. All <gasps> over the train. That's our train! Bunny Vale and Bunny Vale. Here we go! 
Now, right over where the conductor is. Welcome aboard. Thank you. <gasps> Next is suitcase. All aboard! Excuse me. Rain is so exciting. Not quite as exciting as looking out the window, if you ask somebody's. You've barely touched your dinner, Max. I guess you don't want to miss one second of this train ride. It's getting dark. I've never seen you so eager to go to bed. I've never gone to bed in a sleeper car before. Well, there is nothing quite like sleeping on a train. Aren't you excited about going to bed in the sleeper car? Ah! I know you'd like to stay up all night looking out the window, but we have to go to sleep. Come on, Max. Park. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, <laughs> bed. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Conductor. We are sleeping in a sleeper car for the first time. Well, that's very exciting. Up. Uh, Max thinks he wants to stay up all night and look out the window. <laughs> well, now, Max, you can take it from me. There's not much to see once night falls. And besides, you have to be up bright and early when we get to Bunnyville Station in the morning. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr. Conductor. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Here we are. Our traveling bedroom. Oh. On trains, they call beds berths, don't they, Grandma? That's right, Ruby. Uh, mine's here, through this curtain, and these are yours. One berth below and one above. That's the one I'll sleep in. You're too little to sleep that high off the floor. Time to put our pajamas on. Remember what the conductor said, Max? We have to go to bed and get a good night's sleep. And we want to be well rested when Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate meet us at the station. Well, I'm ready for bed. Now remember, if you need me, I'll be right here behind this curtain. Good night. Good night, Grandma. We'll be fine, won't we, Max? Up. <laughs> Sorry, Max. We all have to go to bed now. It's late. There you go. Now you're all tucked in, and I'll be right above you if you need anything. Good night, Max. <laughs> Are you all right, Ruby? Yes, Grandma. The train just zigged when I thought it was going to zag. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Good night. 
Good night, Grandma. your bedtime glass of water, did you? Everything okay, Ruby? Yes, Grandma. I'm just getting Max's bedtime glass of water. Oh, of course. <laughs> Once he has his water, Max will be ready to go to sleep, and so will we. Good. Now you get back into your bed. And I'll get into mine. Here we go again. <laughs> oh. Huh. <sighs> oh. What now? <sighs> you don't have your red rubber elephant. Everything okay, Ruby? Don't worry, Grandma. I'm just getting Max his red rubber elephant. Oh, I guess we should have thought of that before we went to bed. There you go, Max. Now you'll be able to drift off to sleep. <sighs> and I can too. <laughs> Time, I'm going to be ready for the train to. <laughs> Didn't get me that time. <laughs> Up! <sighs> what is it now? You've had water. You've got your red rubber elephant. Ah! You want your super bunny nightlight. Hmm. I'm not sure if we packed your nightlight. You may have to go to sleep without it. Huh? Max? Oh. <laughs> Are you in my bed? I, I mean, birth? What are you doing there? <laughs> Here I come, ready or not. Now I get it. Ruby, where's Max? He's here, Grandma. He didn't want to stay up. He wanted to sleep up. <sighs> Conductor Max. Again. What is it, Ruby? Train trips are great, Grandma. They make drawing very difficult. Every time the train rocks, I make squiggles and wiggles I didn't mean to draw. I want my greeting card for Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate to be perfect. If anybody can make a perfect greeting card, you can. Thanks, Grandma. Max, I made my greeting card for Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate without a single squiggle or wiggle. It's perfect. <laughs> next stop, Westboro. Westboro, next stop. Whoa, hat. Well, you've got good taste in hats, Max. Hey, would you like to try it on? <gasps> <laughs> I don't think you're big enough to be a conductor yet, Max. How long before we reach Bunnyvale? Let's see here. We have two station stops before Bunnyvale. Westboro and Bunnytail Ridge. What a lovely pocket watch. I remember watches like that when I was a girl. Well, it's a fine piece of workmanship. Oops. Ooh, we were almost at Westboro Station. I've got to get ready. Uh, thanks for looking after my hat, Max. 
Hmm. Well, that's a little strange. Time to get our bags from the sleeper car. I'll be right back. Hear that, Max? I can't wait to see Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate when I give them my greeting card. I better put it in my purse where it'll be nice and safe. <gasps> Where's my card? It was right here with all the other papers. Hat. I know you liked wearing the conductor's hat, but this is an emergency. Maybe it fell off the table. The train is arriving at Westboro Station. This isn't our station, Max. This is Westboro. We don't get off until Bunnyvale. Hat! I know you like his hat, but the conductor's busy helping passengers. Besides, I need your help to find my greeting card. What must have happened? When the train jolted, I bet my card fell into your backpack. Ugh. Uh, maybe you should check. Stop Bunny Tail Ridge. Bunny Tail Ridge, next stop. Bunny Tail Ridge? That's my stop. You woke me up just in time. Thank you. Hat. Max, my card wasn't in your backpack. But I think I figured out what happened to my card. Grandma must have taken it back to the sleeper car to pack with our luggage. Come on. Grandma, please tell me you have my greeting card for Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate. I'm sorry, Ruby, but I don't. Oh, no. That means I really have lost it. Well, maybe there's time to make a new one. Next stop, Bunnyvale. Bunnyvale Station next. I can't make a card that quickly. Why don't we take these bags back to our seats and I'll help you take another look. I mean, greeting cards don't just walk away by themselves. Now, you check under your seat and I'll look under the table. Hat! Hello, Max. Hey, I wanted to have a word with you. Oh, oops. We're at Bunnyvale Station already. It'll have to wait. Next stop, Bunnyville Station. Bunnyville Station, next stop. <sighs> I guess I won't have a card for Aunt Claire and Uncle Nate. They'll be so happy to see you. I'm sure they won't mind. Come on, Max. It's time to get off the train. <sighs> Why, thank you. I must say, a lot of passengers have been talking about how helpful this young fellow's been. Have they? In fact, I'd like to give you my hat as a thank you. That's been feeling a little snug lately anyway. Max, you found my greeting card. 
Well, I'll be. There you are. Aunt Claire, Uncle Nate. How was your train ride? It was great. I made you this. Look at that. No squiggles. Or wiggles. There's quite a story behind it. We lost it, and we looked everywhere. And then Max found it in the one place on the train we didn't think to look. Really? Where was that? <laughs> in the train conductor's hat. <laughs> And Ruby, Ruby and Max, Max and Ruby, Ruby and her little brother Max. Max and Ruby. <laughs> Ruby's tower. Looks like you won't be able to play with your ball outside today, Max. Bounce? Basketballs are for outside. You need a nice, quiet, indoor activity on a rainy day. I've already decided what my rainy day activity is. I'm going to build a tower that's as tall as I am. Right here in the middle of the living room. <laughs> You'll never guess what I'm going to build it with. Spaghetti. Huh? And marshmallows. Mmm, isn't that amazing? Bunny Scout Leader showed us how to do it. This is what my tower is going to look like when it's all done. See? These are the pieces of spaghetti, and you stick them into the sticky marshmallows to join them together. Like this. Oh, I didn't think you would want to help me build my tower. <laughs> On second thought, maybe building a tower of spaghetti and marshmallows is too difficult for little bunny brothers. I think you need to find your own rainy day activity. I know. What about playing knights and horses with your knight's castle? I'm sure the knights and horses are in there somewhere. <laughs> Good. Now I can get started. my old paddle ball. Bounce. That's a great rainy day activity. But I think you might need a paddle ball lesson. You're supposed to hit the ball with the paddle as many times as you can without missing. Like this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Bounce. It takes a lot of practice. But if you keep at it, I bet you'll be able to hit it five or six times in a row. Whoa! Oh, why don't you practice over there so you're not too close to my tower, okay? <sighs> Thanks, Max. Whoa! Whew. Oh, 
these long pieces of spaghetti sure are wobbly. Ah! Oh no, my spaghetti! Bounce. Yes, you're getting better at bouncing the ball. But you need to bounce it far away from my tower. It's very wobbly. <sighs> oh, all my spaghetti is broken in half. But if I make the rest of the level shorter, I might still be able to finish my tower. Shorter levels might not be so wobbly. <laughs> Bam! There, another level is done. Spaghetti. be as tall as me. Oh, no. <sighs> that's the end of the spaghetti. <sighs> well, I guess a tower that's almost as tall as me is almost as good as a tower that's just as tall as me. Bounce. Careful where you aim that ball. Damn. My tower! <gasps> Max! The tower! It's taller than I am! <laughs> I never would have done it if you weren't so good at making that paddle ball bounce. Ruby's Juice Bar. A little more that way, Louise. Perfect. Woo A hot day like today is perfect for our juice bar, Ruby. I know. And now we only need one thing. Juice! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Max? Music! I don't know if I'd call that music, Max. But we can't listen to it right now anyway. We're setting up a juice bar to raise money for Bunny Scouts. We'll get lots of customers on a hot, hot day like today. Phew! Come on, let's get juicing! different flavors of juice. Orange, grape, lemonade, and cherry. Yum! All we have to do is add water and stir them up. I'll get some spoons for stirring. And I'll get the pitchers. Music! <laughs> Sweet! 
Sorry, Max. I need that can to make juice. You can have the cans for your music as soon as we empty them. <laughs> Orange. Grape. Lemonade and... Cherry! <laughs> Time to add water. I've got trays we can use to take everything outside. Okay, Ruby! Brothers. Max, do you think you could make your music outside? <laughs> Thanks, Max. Music. I'll stir the orange and the grape juice. Okay. And I'll stir the lemonade and cherry. I thought you got spoons out for stirring. I did. Max. Max, I need those spoons for stirring our juice. On second thought, why don't you keep them? I'll find something else to stir with. Have fun! <laughs> hmm, music? Great idea to use a soup ladle for stirring, Ruby. We have to get our juice bar up and running while the sun is hot and bunnies are thirsty. Oops, we nearly forgot. What? We can't serve ice-cold juice without... <laughs> we should keep the ice in the bucket until the very last minute to keep it frozen. Good idea, Ruby. Let's get everything on the trays first. <gasps> Music! Our juice bar. There's still some left here in the bucket. Phew! Let's go get set up. Okay, I think that's everything. Ice cold juice, glasses, container for money, sign, and a nice hot day. Phew! There's just one thing Customers. How are we going to sell juice if nobody knows we're here? Music! Max, you can't make music right now. We have to figure out how to let our customers know we're here. Uh, Ruby, maybe Max should keep playing. Look! Look at this juice bar! Oh, 
Oh, it's just what I need on a hot summer day. What flavor would you like, Grandma? Cherry, please. Uh-huh. Refreshing and delicious. Well done. You're going to raise lots of money for the Bunny Scouts with this busy juice bar. But we would never have been busy if it weren't for Max and his music. finish up this end of the platform. We just have to build the walls. Come on. Let's get some more wood. <laughs> okay, Louise. Let's find out what we have to spot. Tree fort! Wow! It's looking great, Max. While you and Roger finish building, Louise and I are going to earn our Bunny Scout Wildlife Spotting Badges. Isn't that exciting? Tree Fort. <laughs> what animals do we need for our badges, Ruby? Hmm. It looks like we have to spot three different types of wildlife. A bird, a mammal, and an amphibian. Right. A bird, a mammal, and an amphibian. Amphibian. Look, mammals are animals that usually have fur, like squirrels, raccoons, and mice. And you can spot amphibians because they never have fur, like frogs and toads. I know what they are. I just have trouble saying it. <laughs> <gasps> Ruby, look! <gasps> Our first mammal! Ooh! We have to be very, very quiet, or we'll scare it away before we get a picture. Wait. It moved. Yes, yes. Oh, no. Tree fort. I can't see the squirrel. <gasps> there it is. Max. Oh. Put it right here by the other board, Max. Uh-huh. Now let's get the rest of the wood. Did you see where it went? <gasps> What's that over there? The squirrel! Oh no! Okay, did you get the picture? Not yet. One, two, can't see the squirrel. <gasps> there it is. Perfect. Be very, very quiet. One, two. Oh no! Oh. Uh huh. Did you get the picture? No. And with all that noise, I don't think it'll be back for a while. Maybe we should look for something else. How about an amphimina? An amphibian uh, frog. <laughs> they like water. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the creek. If you can hold it there, I can hammer it in place. Tree fort. Uh huh. <gasps> look, Ruby, there. <gasps> it's froggy. <laughs> Still, Froggy. <gasps> he keeps hiding from me. Maybe if we move closer. But we have to be very, very quiet. Okay. One, two, three. Ribbit. Are you nearly finished? 
I said, are you nearly finished? What did you say, Ruby? It's hard to hear you over the... Hammering? Your hammering is scaring away the animals. Louise and I can't take their... Pictures. Oh, sorry. I'll use my screwdriver for the rest. It's way quieter. Thanks, Roger. Bye. Bye. I thought Roger was going to stop hammering. Huh? He did stop. <gasps> Look, Ruby. <gasps> A woodpecker. Tree fort. Uh-huh. Just a couple more boards for the railing and it'll be done. This is going to make a great picture. Stay still, little woodpecker. Please. Oh, it's gone again. Oh, ooh. Right there. Okay, Max, we'll come and see your tree fort. The woodpecker's <laughs> gone anyway. <sighs> nice tree fort! Uh-huh. Now that it's finished, do you think you can be quiet for a while so we can finally get our wildlife pictures? Uh, Ruby? We haven't been able to get a single picture. Ruby, look! <gasps> the woodpecker! And there's nothing in the way. Uh -huh. And there's your squirrel over there. Got it. <gasps> Ruby, there's our infinimum. Unfimin... Uh, yeah. There's Froggy! We did it! We've got all the pictures we need. A bird, a mammal, and an amphibian. <gasps> you said it! Yay! Now we're going to get our wildlife spotting badges. And we did it from the best wildlife spotting place in all of East Bunny Hop, Max's Tree Fort!